Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and this is a quick rundown of the ideas I had while building my team in 35 Pokes. Uh, so, first off, let's go see the teams that I ended up building, and it's the three up top here. I have it set the Gen 9 National decks, that's where I did most of my testing. Uh, but either way, you'll notice a lot of overlap of specific Pokemon, which I'll, I'll, I'll go explain by looking at the diagram of what Pokemon are available. The first thing I saw when I saw this entire sheet of 35 is I saw the two weather users. So I saw Obama Snow, I saw Hippowdon. So I'm thinking, okay, Snow and Sand teams gotta be relatively like common. There's just no way around it. Even if it's not completely optimal, it's gotta be pretty good. And it seems like they really wanted ice teams or, or snow teams, I guess, to be relatively successful because they have Obama Snow, Frost Moth, Slant Slash, and Glaceon. Uh, which, is, which is quite a large amount of variety uh, as far as it comes to ice teams. Uh, so I, I initially started with uh, an ice team, right? So the, the one I actually started with was uh, team one right here. And what you can see is that I didn't actually go with the bomber snow, the, the actual snow setter. What I instead noticed was the slow king right here. I noticed him pretty early on. I, I felt like it made a lot of sense right, to have a nice Mon to pivot on like that. Water type is always really nice to have, and especially something that just gets sculled, but I guess so does everything, because this plays by basically the national deck set of rules. Um, but Slow King, Loma Lula, Tentacruel were the main options there. Tentacruel I thought was pretty much just worse than Slow King in most ways. And then Loma Lula, it's just too stealthy for me. I don't really like stall teams that much, even if they are pretty good. And according to the usage stats, by the way, for this format, Aloma Lula is, is the best non. Like, it, it actually is the highest usage of anything. But anyway, uh, with Slow King, I did not have Teleport X, and I messed that up. But I did make a few changes over time, uh, but this thing should have Chilling Reception, not Teleport. As Teleport on my non-weather team, but on my weather team with Saint Slash Alola here, which has Slush Rush, which makes it faster in the snow, I either A, generally the idea is hopefully the enemy uh, has a snow team, in which case I get free snow. If I don't get free snow though, I have Chili Reception on Slow King, which lets me swap out, hit the Regenerator to heal up, and then come back with Chili Reception to live. Right, So that's, that's the idea there. Uh, from there, the next thing I noticed instantly, just instantly, is Gengar. Right? Uh, it's just the fastest thing in this entire tier. And has stupid high special attack, which means that I can just kind of set it up to kill things, which is exactly what I do right here. You can see I give it choice specs. I gave it instantly Shadow Ball and Thunderbolt with Trick. Uh, Trick lets it give away the choice specs to something like Illumilul or something. Something that could be more annoying, more Wally uh, gets absolutely fucked up by Trick. Now, that being said, I didn't actually have Energy Ball to start. What I used to have was Dazzling Gleam, because I, I had that to cover some dark types, right? So like Sableye, uh, mainly, actually Sableye. I, I didn't notice low kicks until way, way, way later. But uh, yeah, I give him Energy Ball uh, only recently, after after my first set of matches, because I'm having issues dealing with the Powdon. Uh, if you look at, not this team, but if you look at most of my other teams, the only thing that can really consistently deal with Hippowdon on any of the other teams, like Team 2 here or whatever, is either my own Hippowdon, uh, or the other real <laughs> only options were, were maybe Rabska uh, or Slowking, right? But Slowking is super vital for a lot of things, mainly just pivoting around, healing around, right? Spreading Thunder Wave. Uh, because Slowking is great for that. Slowking, pretty bulky, tanky guy. He gets Regenerator as well. Uh, you'll notice the investment of... Uh, I don't know why I have 140 in Special Attack. I think that was supposed to be in Defense, but... Either way, 108 uh, Special Defense with a nature that helps Special Defense and hurts Speed, because you want Slowking to be slow so that he will teleport last. If there's two Slowkings teleporting, it helps with that. If you're in Trick Room, which is technically a possibility, I don't know why you'd really use it in this format. A lot of things are around the same speed. Uh, but if you do use Trick Room, my Slow King's really slow. Uh, but I gave it Scald and Psychic. Scald for Burn Chance or any physical attackers. Psychic, just good coverage. There's a, a few more annoying poison types. But the main reason it has the specific special defense investment is it means it lives a, a Specs Shadow Ball from Gengar which is like the most threatening thing out there for me. 
Uh, and by being able to live that, I can hit it back with a Psychic and just Oko it, right? It's, it's a very, very useful thing to have. Uh, then beyond that, I also noticed Tinkaton. Now, Tinkaton's not particularly good compared to everything else, right? Even like Cobalion and Tinkaton have some have some decent overlap. But Tinkaton's a favorite mod of mine, so I just wanted to use it. Uh, and, and Tinkaton, I gave it the set. Initially, I gave it an Assault Vest and Fake Out instead of Stealth Rock. I then realized I... Because I, I used to have something that said Stealth Rock. I, I unironically don't remember. I did a lot of experimenting to get to the teams that I have now. But I used to have something else that said Stealth Rock. Uh, now that I don't, though, I made Tinkaton just do it himself. Uh, it gave him a very high just attacking set because that's not what you expect. But, like Most Tinkatons are relatively bulky with a lot of utility. Uh, I instead invested in speed and attack so I can outspeed a, a shocking amount of things and do very, very solid damage, mainly with the 160 power Gigaton Hammer. Uh, and that can Oko a lot of different things, which is super, super useful. Then from here, I also noticed Rabska. I feel like Rabska was just a no-brainer. Uh, I mainly was just going to get it for a free Revival Blessing, and maybe it hits something on its way out or whatever. Uh, and then I found out it's actually in this format. It's actually pretty damn good. It's very, very bulky. I gave it 192 uh, Special Defense with, the, with a positive nature like that. So yet again, it can tank a Shadow Ball from Specs Gengar. Which I just expect to be super common. I mean, it's just a free sweeper. It's very, very hard to stop Gengar. Uh, and and with this specific investment, it tanks one Shadow Ball from Gengar. Oko's back with Psychic. Or I can just get off that Revival Blessing for free to revive my own Gengar. Or revive another sweeper, another very core member of my team. And then also live an extra turn. Like, it's it's very great. You can't leave this thing be. The damage it does with Bug Bug's Earth Power and Psychic is shockingly high. I mean, it's slow as all hell. But you can also see the special attack stat is actually nothing to scoff at. It's it's kind of a bit ridiculous. I didn't know this thing got as much special attack as it does. Uh, and I've been able to kill a lot of things, mainly in testing. I haven't actually gotten any crazy kills in-game while using it. Just because of how shockingly, especially defensively bulky it is in special attack, it's got some very good special attack. Right, so if I don't want a Revival Blessing, I can instead have Rabska kill one or two things damn near every time. It's a very, very great addition to my team. Uh, and the last main mon that's kind of on every one of my teams, and this was a very late addition, is Low Kicks here. Uh, I didn't recognize it very early on, but Low Kicks is basically just a great counterpart for Gengar. Right, Gengar just spams Shadow Ball with Choice Specs and has a little bit of coverage and like Thunderbolt for like Aloma Lula, Charizard, and stuff like that. Uh, but there's there's some things that Gengar struggles with, and Low Kicks just doesn't struggle with any of that. I used to have a very different set with Low Kicks, which had Life Orb and Leech Life or something. Because I, I the most of the testing I did was actually against teams with a lot of walls. Uh, but without all those walls in the way, it makes a lot more sense to have a Low Kicks very focused on pivoting because he has such high attack to begin with. Uh, I gave him all this extra speed because he wants to be able to outspeed other Low Kicks. It's a very important matchup to be able to win. And just outspeeding anything generally is great. <laughs> it's it's worth losing out a bit of attack just to be able to outspeed things and pivot a little bit faster. But I've since swapped my low kick set from the original set I had. I think it was uh, like Throat Chop, uh, Leech Life, Axe Kick, and First Impression. Because of Tinted Lens, which for those of you who didn't know, uh, Tinted Lens is the ability where things that aren't very effective become neutral instead. Very, very useful ability, especially as a bug dark type, where a lot of things can kind of resist those. But anything that resists a bug, I just hit neutrally. So it's very, very hard to take a hit from this thing, right? Gengar, there's a few things you can swap into that it just can't do anything about, right? Like if I'm spamming Shadow Ball and you send in, I don't know, like a <laughs> you send in your Stoutland or something, right? Gengar can't touch that. Uh, however, Low Kicks doesn't care. And you can just hit you with the first impression. Right, first impression is great because of priority. It's a very good for revenge killing. Even just hitting other low kicks. Like, if their low kicks kills me, uh, I force the swap and then first impression hits everything. Because of this tinted lens ability, first impression will hit everything for very, very, very solid damage. And just basically be guaranteed very solid hit every time something dies. Uh, U-turn, I came to find out later, very, very great for pivoting. Uh, this thing could just swap out for free, which is why I gave it heavy duty boots instead of the life orb, because the life orb gave it a, a minute amount of power that it didn't really need. It already does a lot of killing, a lot of damage on its own. 
Uh, Utes are much better move for that. Does very solid damage on the way out, and then you just don't take any damage in your low kicks, and you can swap to something more tanky like Tinkaton or Slow King, or whatever you might need. It's really great. Uh, knock off, just generic dark type hit. Everything has an item, so this is basically just a 90 base power dark type move, which can be very useful. There's a lot of things very weak to dark uh, that are being used, right? So there's Gengar, obviously, very easily fucked up by that. Uh, Miss Magus, Sableye, right? Uh, Slow King himself doesn't really like getting hit by a knockoff. Although, Slow King, you just probably you turn your first impression on. And then you notice the last slot is another Dark type move in Sucker Punch, which only has 70 base power, but has priority. And that is specifically, and, and literally, quite literally, only for Gengar. Uh, because Gengar is faster than low kicks, and Gengar can hit low kicks very hard. Uh, a lot of times even killing, depending on what move's being used, especially if it has Dazzling Gleam. But with Sucker Punch, uh, it can't attack you, like, just straight up. Now, with Gengar, you have Trick, and if you read that correctly, you can trick the low kicks, and then he'll be stuck on Sucker Punch, and you can't pivot for free with U-Turn. However, I don't think a lot of people are going to be super ready for that. I didn't even know about this set, but to be fair, I've also been very uninvolved in competitive Pokemon before, so I, I don't really know about any of this stuff. But that's like the main kind of core of all my teams, right? Low Kick, Slow King, Gengar, uh, Rabska, and Tinkaton. I pretty much have a variety of those on most of my teams, uh, with a few exceptions. Right? You'll notice on the Sand team here, there's no Slow King, and that's because, in my opinion, Hippowdon basically does the same thing that Slow King does. So it wasn't worth having a second one. Now, it doesn't have Regenerator, but what it does have instead is stupid high uh, normal defenses with decently high uh, health, high enough that his special defenses, even though they're pretty low, are more than good enough for tanking things like Gengar. Uh, then you get Leftovers to heal whenever you do take hits and Sandstream just for a bunch of chip damage. It adds up real, real fast. And most things on the team either don't care about taking like 1%, like Gengar low kicks, basically they either one-shot things or get one-shot. So taking two damage from Sandstorm doesn't affect them. Or they're like Stoutland or Tinkaton, who just don't take damage from Sand. And then Rapsk is a kind of weird anomaly here. He doesn't like being in Sand, but I just thought he's kind of too good to pass up on. Uh, he's a great answer for most things. He's a great answer for Gengar, great answer for... Most other things he hits pretty well with the with the spread I have on him, right? Bug Buzz, Earth Power Psychic gives some bug, ground, and psychic coverage, which for pretty much everything here other than the Loma Lola, actually, funnily enough, uh, it, it hits. It hits in one way or another in a way that they don't like, right? So if they have Gengar and they swap in for some reason, you hit them with the Earth Power, Gengar has one shot, right? Uh, if, you, if they have Peasant Deputy or whatever, just hit them with the Psychic. Right. There's, there's like an answer for, for damn near everything on this page. Uh, I did find though, with the sand team that have out on Nables, because what I did is I made one snow team, one sand team, and then one non-weather team. Uh, we're, we talked about the snow team bit, right? Basically, we have Slow King set up the snow. Then Sand Slash Alilla comes in and benefits off that. Uh, I gave it Slush Rush and Air Balloon. Uh, Air Balloon because it's just weak to ground, and this also makes it ignore uh, a lot of entry hazards if they're if they're not like I think Stealth Rock still hits with an Air Balloon, but either way, uh, I've gotten a lot of value swapping this thing in on ground attacks in my testing. I, ha I have Iron Head on it and Earthquake for just a lot of good damage and coverage because if you look around at all these Pokemon here. Almost everything that people are going to use in any capacity are either neutral to ground or weak to ground, with the exceptions being Miss Magus and Charizard. I mean, I guess Vespaquin technically as well, but no one's really using that to any success as far as I know or, or thought of. But anything else you might consider using does not, or I guess Altaria as well. But most things don't like getting hit by an earthquake. I mean, even things like low kicks that can take a hit don't want to. Uh, and other things like Gengar gets fucked up by ground, Dugtria fucked up by ground, Sand Slash fucked up by ground, right, uh, Pheasant Dippity fucked up by ground, uh, Colossal just dead, right, like, and everything else isn't, like, taking it that well, Maynetric dead, uh, right, Tentacruel doesn't like it, Tinkaton doesn't like it, Gabalion doesn't like it, just, uh, Garbodor doesn't like it, right, like, everything doesn't really like ground, 
Roserade is neutral, I think, because Grass Resist. I might be wrong on that. I don't remember type charts that well. Point being, the ground is way too good to not have, so he has Earthquake, uh, mainly for also other Sand Slash, because otherwise he would be able to touch him. He gave it Iron Head, because, you know, Stab plus Flinch Chance is great. Aurora Veil is like a must-have. If you're running snow in any way, it's just too good to pass up on. It basically makes you immortal for like four turns. Uh, and, and I've gotten tons of value out of that. But then the last move is the one I've been a lot more shaky on, and that is Ice Shard, which I have for revenge killing mainly. Uh, it still does a solid amount of damage because it is stab. Uh, and I, I think maybe weather boosted, not 100% sure. But you can see it's only 40 base power, but it does have priority. I've been thinking about swapping it back to uh, Icicle Crash, right? Because 30% flinch yet again and very solid damage. Or, you know, Icicle Spear is a solid one. There, there's a lot of different ice type moves that I could be running instead. For now, though, it's Ice Shard, uh, mainly because I think people wouldn't expect it. I think people expect you to be running Icicle Crash on here, so I can get away with not running it and instead having Ice Shard for quick kills. But over time, I might still change that. Uh, this is definitely one of the most shaky, shaky sets that I still have left. Uh, and that's really the whole ice team. I've kind of covered everything about that right here. Uh, the, the investments are mostly just default, like maxed out on either sweeping as well as possible, right? So Gengar, you know, Tinkaton, low kicks, just sweeping as much as possible. Uh, they're based on their abilities, right? So like Sand Slash, Slush Rush doubles your speed in snow, so you don't need any speed investment. You can put it all into attack and health. Uh, Rabska, like I said, specifically built for Gengar. Slow King, specifically built for Gengar. Very simple stuff all around right there. Uh, and then if we go over to the Sand Team, right? The, this is kind of the only, I think the only remaining stuff I will well, actually have talked about the non-weather team, but I'm going to go to the Sand Team first, explain things here. Uh, first off, for Sand, Papelodon's a must because he sets the Sand for free by swapping in. Very good lead as well because a Stealth Rock as well. Uh, just give him a bunch of divest, uh, defense and health uh, investment. Which I think somewhat helps with Sand Slash Alola if you even see that, but it mainly just helps with Low Kicks making it so Low Kicks can't touch him whatsoever. Uh, and, and shockingly, his health and special defense are just good enough where he tanks most things naturally. Right. Earthquake hits super, super hard. Even with minimal attack investment, he's got some solid attack uh, and, and can just hit super hard. You don't want to be in on this thing. And like I said, pretty much everything's weak to ground. There's a few things that aren't, but they don't like coming in on Stealth Rock or Toxic. So you're just good. Like this is, this is good enough to handle everything. And then Slack Off is just a stall and be annoying because you can just do that. It tanks everything so well. Uh, from there, the usual Tinkaton, Gengar, Ravska, Low Kicks. And the new member, the one that I figured out I think I like, is Stoutland here. Uh, you'll notice he has a bit interesting investment. I forgot exactly why I gave it speed. I think it was just the automatic. Because on Showdown, if you just click right here, it gives you the automatic setup here. Uh, I might actually change off of speed for the same reason that uh, Lowland Sand Slash has no speed. Because Stoutland, for whatever reason, gets Sand Rush. Uh, very interesting that he does. But basically, if the sand is active, its speed is doubled. Right? It's the same thing, but for sand... Gave it Assault Vest, because it's already pretty well off as far as attack goes. That attack set is more than good enough. And it's got some decent defenses and health. So you can see base 85 and 90 health. They're more than good enough most of the time. Uh, so you can really just get away with just investing pretty heavily in attack and then giving yourself an Assault Vest just to help deal with, like, you know, stray like Thunderbolts or something. Or just whatever special attack might come your way. There's not really any other items that help as easily defensively. Uh, Stoutland, with his high ass attack, doesn't really need to set up at all. He, with with these returns that are stab 102 uh, base power, because that's how much return generally does on max happiness. Very, very high damage. Just return alone can kill most things. But there are a few ghost types in Sableye, Gengar, Miss Majus, uh, mainly just those three. Uh, and, and they will take return without taking any damage. You gotta be careful. But with Assault Vest, you can literally just pivot. Stomping Tantrum answers the Gengar very well. Uh, Gengar can't touch this thing as well either because it's Stab Shadow Ball that it really loves to spam. Just doesn't hit Stoutland because it's a normal type, which is great. And it has to hit you with something else. Like, maybe it has Focus Blast, but Stoutland's not common enough where that's required coverage. So I'd be kind of shocked if they had it. Uh, Crunch is just even more, right? So that handles the Miss Mages, that handles Slow King, 
I, just uh, very common annoying things I had to do with in a lot of testing, right? Sableye, Slow King, Mismages, some Palosin. I think I saw one Palosin. Um, but it's just it's just good coverage and good damage overall, right? And then the last thing is Pursuit, because Gengar's going to try to swap out. And if you read that correctly, it's Pursuit is just disgusting. I mean, it hits for the power of Crunch, but they just can't swap out. So it's just nice to have. I mean, Return and Stomping Tantrum do 90% of the work. These other ones are more just prediction-based. If I if I see something that I think I can hit well, I'll do that. But for the most part, I spam Return unless I think Gengar's coming in, then I hit Stomping Tantrum. Or if I'm up against something more annoying like Cabalion or Tinkaton, right? like a Steel type of some kind, then you just hit the Stomping Tantrum yet again. Uh, would have given this thing Earthquake if it had it, but it doesn't, unfortunately. So Stomping Tantrum is the best that you get. Uh, but yeah, pretty shockingly, disgustingly powerful Mon. Uh, Sand Rush makes it first off immune to that Sandstorm damage. Second off makes it stupid fast and then nothing outspeeds it. And that's that's just really good. Uh, I could have went with Scrappy, I suppose, but it's too slow to really fully benefit off that. So I'm just not doing that. And that's, that's the Sand team right there. And the last member of any team I haven't talked about is this Sableye down here. Uh, I honestly, for a non-weather team, I was just really happy with the top five here. I mean, uh, these are the guys that are basically on every team, where it's Slow King, Low Kicks, Sinkaton, Rapska, Gengar. Gengar and, and Low Kicks just kind of kill everything for free, and I like that. Rapska, as mentioned, good revival blessings, all that. Tinkaton, just generally good at answering things that they don't. Right, so for example, opposing Gengar, if I don't want to just risk the speed time, uh, I can just stay in and, and hit him with a Gigaton Hammer and take a hit. Uh, it used to have, like I said, an Assault Vest on this Tinkaton, make it a little bit even more bulky against that stuff. But I realized this thing's got some solid natural bulk, 105 special defense with 85 health. It's more than good enough for most things. So I don't really bother with that anymore. And then I just hit it back with a knockoff Gigaton Hammer, or depending on what I've done, uh, I have Rock Slide, first off, because I need some answer for Charizard on, on most of these teams, and there's not really another answer that I found super easily. Uh, so that, that was mainly an answer for Charizard. With Assault Vest, it actually easily tanked a Flamethrower, even with Specs. But uh, now I'm not so sure. Haven't done enough testing and no, but Rock Slide is mainly for Charizard, and then has a second value of if I set up a lot of Thunder Waves with Slow King and I pivot a little bit more properly, You'll also notice this one has teleport and should have teleport so that it can just kind of move around however it wants to. Uh, but either way, if I set off any thunder waves and things get slower and things have a chance of getting paralyzed, I have rock slide for the paraflinch, uh, which has cheesed me out of one or two games in my testing. And it's honestly just a nice move to have there because knockoff and gates and hammer just do enough to most things. Uh, you basically just spam Gigaton Hammer, and then when you're not hitting Gigaton Hammer, you hit Knockoff or Rock Slide, depending on if you've knocked off already. Uh, and then you just test Stealth Rock now as added, added help for setup. But either way, Sableye is just what I found out of all these mons uh, I kind of looked around. I figured Sableye helped me the most. Uh, I might be wrong in that. Maybe I could have done things a little bit better. But I do think from what's available, uh, Sableye kind of filled in this team the best. I, I was debating... Possibly adding a Pheasant Dippity, just another very solid pivoter attacker alongside low kicks. But I do think the tankiness of Sableye and his ability to deal with things that are still, even with everything I have, somewhat annoying, like Cobalion mainly. Uh, and then also it can help with low kicks as well. But not really, because low kicks, if you didn't know, is a dark type. And dark types are immune to prankster, so it doesn't even help with that. I might still swap out the Sableye by the end of the tournament, but right now he's here uh, because he's got some decent defenses like these don't look great but it's good enough to tank most things uh then he hits you with the leftovers and he with the will-o-wisp shadow sneak for revenge kills whenever it's needed knock off literally just one shot scan guard and that's, that's the main reason i had that it's also just nice in general so that they don't have a move and then recover to stall stuff out that you hit with will-o-wisp or whatever and just get some solid damage off uh, but mainly this thing just will o -wisp anything I don't particularly like, like a Cobalion or whatever. I used to have Thunder Wave on it, and I actually might go back to Thunder Wave on it, to be completely honest with you. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's Sableye's whole purpose. It's, it's just making annoying things less annoying. I might swap back to T-Wave. I swapped it to will o -wisp, like, after losing the last game, because, I don't know, it's like, Slow King... T-Wave's a lot of things naturally. 
But it's not really bad to have two Thunder Wave users. I might still even just swap this to another, you know, more bulky sweeper guy in, in the Stoutland tier. Because uh, Stoutland's just really good, I'll be real. Even without the, the boost to his speed, his speed of 80 outspeeds the slower stuff easily. Right, so stuff like Rapster gets easily outsped. And he can tank hits from anything else relatively easily as well. Like, low kicks doesn't particularly one-shot him. Gengar, like I said, if he's locked on Shadow Ball, won't be a problem. Uh, Hepowdon probably doesn't hate being in on him, honestly. Uh, but I, I don't know. This 6 slot on, on the non-weather team really has been something I, I've thought about only a little bit. Uh, I haven't really thought about it that much. It could even be worth just having... Uh, some more help with Hippowdon, because Hippowdon was something, uh, up until I made that move swap on Gengar to give him Energy Ball specifically to be second answer to Hippowdon, my only other answer to Hippowdon was either my own Hippowdon, which is good enough to be frank, but it's only if I'm running the Sand Team specifically, or Scald here on Slowking, which with the amount they want Slowking dead, because Slowking generally is just so, so, so good. Scald with Burns, Thunder Wave with Thunder Wave, like just paralyzing things, and Regenerator making pivots completely free. Uh, they, they want slow king completely gone, which means it might be worth having a second water type in like Tentacruel or something, just to kind of hold things down. Uh, I'm not completely sure, like I said, this last split really is up for contention. Uh, I don't think Golduck makes sense in any world, because between the water types, I mean, slow king and Tentacruel are just way better. They're way tankier, they hit about the same, and I think they even have faster speed. They're just kind of better, and they better abilities, like Regenerators are so good. Recently, I used Slow King over Tentacruel, by the way. Uh, the only thing you really want Tentacruel for, I, I would think, would be Toxic Spikes. Uh, and Gengar eats Toxic Spikes. He's a poison type, and damn near every team has Gengar. I, I, didn't, I saw that before the usage stats. There's just no reason not to run this thing, to be honest. It's way too good. It's the fastest thing out here, and it has the highest special attack, and it can just kill everything. Uh, pretty much every time Gengar dies, it's killed at least one thing on its way out, which is everything you can ask for in a Pokemon, to be honest. Uh, and because of that, Slow King, a bit more useful, Tentacruel not so much, but having both might not be awful. Could always go with the simple Cabalion pick, just to wall a lot of more annoying things and, and just kind of deal with a lot of that. Uh, I could I could cave in and just go Aloma Lola, <laughs> and, and just have a nice uh, second pivot Stalmon, right? Because Aloma Lola also gets regenerated, also a water type, but uh, unlike Slow King, it's a pure water type, meaning the only things that are going to hit it for any real damage is Obama Snow, who damn near no one's using, Gengar with Thunderbolt or Trick, which is why you give it Thunderbolt or Trick, but you can just pivot out uh, if you if you read it correctly, and Maynetric, which is also relatively uncommon as far as things go, because there are so many ground types in like Hapeldon, you know, Dugtrio, Palisand, and a lot of other things that it just doesn't do too well into, like Gengar that just outspeeds and hits it harder. Uh, but because be beyond that, I mean, the only other real option would be like maybe Miss Magus. Because it's got Levitate, which makes it immune to those very spammable ground moves. It's one of very few things with that immunity. Uh, I used to have a Charizard in that slot, but he, he literally never got value. Like, with Stealth Rock, Charizard just is down half his health every time, and then he just doesn't take most things that well. Um, and yeah, in my opinion, it's not worth the hassle. But that's mainly with my team. With more support, it kind of can work. I might actually just go Pheasant Dippity. Honestly, I'm... I'm I haven't gotten too much value of this Sableye. Like, it's it's nice to have, don't get me wrong, but the main problem, one of the main problems is if my Gengar is dead, uh, or their low kicks has Sucker Punch and I don't read it correctly, then the only thing to beat their low kicks is my low kicks, or maybe Tankaton, depending on how things went. Which means it might be worth just deleting this Sableye, and then adding in, uh, whatchamacallit? Loma Lola kind of just makes the most sense of anything here. I want to almost try Pheasant Dippity. I'll figure out between the two which one I end up doing, but hopefully you kind of understand what I'm going for here. Toxic Chain is what you do, by the way. 30% chance of poisoning things when you have, you have like U-turn. You can you can switch out and have a 30% chance of Toxicing, which is ridiculous. And then you can just do whatever coverage you kind of want. Play Rough's nice, so you can do some Poison Jab just for a nice stab. Uh, but it, Poison Jab could do non-toxic poison, which is kind of a waste. You always want to just hit things with toxic damage when possible. I wonder if Tail Slap is 30% per hit. I don't think it is, but that would be a little ridiculous if it was. Get like that. 
Like, quick attack for priority, not an awful idea, except for the problem that most of the things you'd want priority on are, are Gengar, uh, and Gengar is immune, which would be kind of pointless. I mean, what else would you want? I guess... I guess it ain't awful, it kind of is just mainly for low kicks. Or I just do a Luring Voice. Yeah. I think I just a Luring Voice specifically for low kicks. As for item... Is it just where the leftover is? I can't really think of a reason to use most other things here. I could band it just to have stupid high damage on it or whatever. Um, or black sludge is just a better leftover because it is a poison type. Mm. I don't know. It's decently bulky actually. If you look at these stats, right? 125 special defense is kind of nuts. Defense base defense is solid ish. I guess you'd want an answer for her Powdon in some way or something like that. Oh, dual wing beat, not a learning voice. So you always go dual wing beat here. That's just such a good move to have. Just a base 40 power uh, flying type move. And then do you just gunk shot? Like, obviously, it doesn't toxic, but it doesn't have to. It's it's kind of pointless. <laughs> Uh, you could also make a special set just as easily, but I think a, a physically attacking set is just the play, especially with the pivoting power it gives it. Could also Shadow Claw, but I don't think that really helps me. I think most things don't like getting hit by either the U-turn or the player up or getting poisoned in one way or another. I guess Gengar is kind of the exception. I, I do need something for Gengar. So that's... I, don't know, I could Brave Bird, I could Lash Out. It's a solid answer for Gengar there. Also, would help against uh, Slow King if I don't just U turn on it, which I always will. I don't know. Honestly, this, this one's a little bit more iffy. Beat Up's a solid one. Uh, it can it can definitely help with Gengar a lot more if everything's still alive, but that requires an early Gengar, which I don't have as much confidence in, to be honest. Not really sure, to be honest. I could kick it impact just for the, the fucking shits and giggles. And it could matter sometimes, maybe. Would be funny if it did. Um, but beyond that, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do I give it Shadow Claw? Does that really help it the best here? I kind of wish it had a ground type move, but then it would probably be a little bit ridiculous because this thing would answer damn near everything. I think what I do is I go Shadow Claw and just hope for the added proc or Lash Out. It's just, it's 5 more power. I mean, the added PP of Shadow Claw doesn't matter because <laughs> that never gets proc. Lash Out could just be the play. So there's a Dream Finale, a final move here. I think that's what I do. And yeah, Fast Physical Sleeper. You want to max out the speed here so you can pivot as much as possible. Special defense investment isn't awful, honestly, unless there's this four, uh, the four EVs here help it tank an earthquake or something better. But I think generally this thing just doesn't want to. Um, but yeah, that's that's the idea with this thing. The other option, obviously, being the Aloma Lola, which is just a second pivot, which is in its own way kind of disgusting. But I like the more offensive pivot a lot more. Uh, but a little like can be a lot better, especially like I mentioned at dealing with those Hippowdons, which are my main problem. Because Hippowdon on, on these teams, the only answers to Hippowdon are my Rabska, which doesn't want to just waste all its health fighting a Hippowdon, and even then, Hippowdon can tank it depending on what health it's on. Uh, it, it, it takes like three psychics to kill a Hippowdon, and it can spam slack off, right? Uh, Gengar now with Energy Ball has a 50% chance to Oko from full health. Which is great, but that's from full health. Uh, without full health, it's it's pretty guaranteed kill, but something would have to die to let Gengar get in, because it dies to one Earthquake. And then Slow King, like mentioned. But the whole point is that I don't want my Slow King to take that much damage. Uh, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna try this thing. I, I might have to do some, some off-camera testing before my second match or whatever. But that's the idea. I hope, hope you kind of understand what I'm going for with this sixth slot. It's, it's mainly... I just want something to fill in my team, uh, help deal with a lot of things that otherwise don't get touched so easily, 
or just a, an added sweeper. It's not bad to have a third sweeper. This is a relatively offensive metagame, with the exceptions being the Slow King and Aloma Lolo. But in my opinion, Aloma Lolo is way worse than people think it is, mainly because Gengar is such a good answer. Like with Gengar, you always run. I feel like it always makes sense to either run Scarf or Specs with Trick. And if you can trick down to Loma Lula, first off, that answers it completely. Second off, if that doesn't work, I mean, Thunderbolt just kills. It, it, it hits Loma Lula. If they don't have a ground type specifically, nothing else likes coming in on a Thunderbolt from Gengar. It'll do like half their health, and then he'll outspeed and kill them on the next turn. Like, it's just kind of disgusting. He's a, uh, Gengar is, is a meta definer. Or he's, he's a must pick. Him and low kicks are kind of the, at the top of everything. Uh, and Aloma Lolo gets fucked too hard by him for it to make a lot of sense to have him. Uh, I'm more just wondering if, with my other pivots and stuff, if it just makes sense. But I don't think I have something myself that takes the Thunderbolt that well. I think my best option would be like Tinkaton. And it actually wouldn't like getting hit by uh, Gengar Thunderbolt that much. I think it would still do a solid 30% or something with a 10% chance up here, which is kind of ridiculous. But what I could do, I could literally just spam U-turn on this, U-turn on this, teleport on this, and they can just pivot around each other very, very easily. Uh, Toxic Chain hits here, Regenerator hits here, and then this thing just does stupid amounts of damage to everything. It's it's kind of a crazy good core, and then I have Tinkaton and Rabska uh, for tanking, and Rabska also with Revival Blessing, just has an added plus. It's such a good move to have. It can bring back, mainly bring back Gengar when he does. Gengar can just lead and kill things <laughs> real easily. Uh, but yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea with all three teams. I, I think the other two teams are pretty well made already. Uh, it's just this non-weather team was a last minute addition, last minute kind of thing. And I hadn't thought out everything completely. And now that I've, I've made some moveset changes off of my first game, like I mentioned, Low Kicks was completely redone. Tinkaton was redone. Uh, Fezendipity is just a new addition. With all that, I think it could be a lot better. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that insight. And uh, I hope you enjoy watching the games that are also involved. Yo, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here. And uh, this is my first ever match in the 35 Poke server. Uh, time to get going. It's <laughs> Interesting team to start. Looks like I'm up against a Sand team with just a very interesting mix. I I'm assuming the Sand is to combo with Cabellion to get rid of Snow teams. Uh, then I have no clue how these two could synergize with it. I'm assuming it's just all coverage. But generally that means he leads Hippowdon with Stealth Rock, so I lead Slow King and I just hit it with some Scald. And if it wants to, it does not take Scald very well. <laughs> It'll be interesting seeing what happens here. But yeah, starting with the low kicks, not what I expected, a very good play to start. Knockoff just kills if he has it, and, and so does the other dark type move. Uh, I don't outspeed in any way. The question is, who do I want to send in to tank anything? I don't think it's actually a particularly good answer for tanking anything here, and I definitely want Slow King available for later. Mm, this is rough. He saw, he, he saw right through... What I had going on. Sableye hopefully tanks. I know he won't tank it well, but well, not super well, but he tanks actually decently. Uh, either way, we just hit this thing with a T wave so that we can outspeed with our own low kicks, and we'll see from here. Yeah, uh, not very experienced when it comes to, to all these types of battles, so I'm not exactly sure uh, what to look for with stuff like this. I'm super used to just like, oh, my, you know, the lead is the setup mod. Just throw out like Stealth Rock, whatever. Uh, very smart from Belluno to just start with something that I literally had one answer for. <laughs> if I lead low kicks, we, we're net even. And if I don't lead low kicks, I mean, then that's where we're at now. Uh, where he just leads low kicks and gets free hits off on me. Literally no downside. That burn's rather annoying. Uh, what do I want to do here? I could go Gengar. And hit him with the T-Bolt. I actually, Shadow Bolt just seems better overall. Let's just go with a knockoff first. And then we can recover a little bit after. Black Sledger's gun. Let's recover a little. I can just recover for like a turn or see to get up most of my health. Yeah, flip turn, very good play here. 
Now this was a mistake on my part. Let his Hippodon again for free. But it's a sand forest Hippodon because it didn't start up weather, which is super weird. At least got rid of his leftovers. He's got the rocks out. I think I just recover here so he doesn't get any free hits in. The Earthquake coming out is real interesting, mainly because I can't tank it in any way. Uh, my best answer is still Slurking. I think he can tank it somewhat well. Let me double check. Yeah, he can tank an Earthquake and hit back with Scald. And that's what we're going to do. Oh. <laughs> uh, nothing on his team really likes getting hit with Scald except Tentacruel. And that's completely fine with me because Tentacruel will die to Psychic. Just easy as... <laughs> Unless I, like, it's well invested, which it is. <laughs> it's very well invested. Everything else does not like taking this particularly well. Uh, almost tempted to let Slowking die here to be able to then deal with Gengar the way I want to. Because uh, I can always revive Slowking with, with Rabska here. Tempted. But I do want to look around first. I, I think Tinkaton is just better in every way there. Always worth going Tinkaton here. Uh, unless he doesn't go Shadow Ball, then Psychic is the player. I'm almost tempted to go for like the crazy ass read, because I don't think he's going to Shadow Ball here. I'm, I'm going to be honest, like, this probably isn't his moveset, to be fair. But whatever his moveset is, it, it, I feel like he doesn't Shadow Ball that. It's way too risky. No, he does. Okay, that's a good call on my part. The special defense drop is crazy. That's, that's so unlucky. That's ridiculous. Big Atonement was definitely the right play, though. Luckily, he doesn't take full advantage of the thing he just stumbled into. They bring back out Slow King. The Toxic on my Slow King, kind of annoying. He goes back to Gengar here, I think, so Psychic's the play. Psychic also does decent damage in general. Nice. Good plays all around. We are big chilling here. He obviously goes low kicks here. There's just no reason not to. Like, low kicks completely fucks up everything I got going on now. Because Sableye's low enough. <laughs> Sableye's low enough where he'll be fine. Like, because I can't swap in Sableye for free. He gets a guaranteed kill for going low kicks here. Yeah. Now, this was just intelligent no matter what. Uh, I think I, I just let Slow King die. I can revive him later. And what we do is we do this. There's anything... Nothing here is not paired, but he's just gonna go pair... What do I even do, actually, about... My, my problem is now I don't have an answer here. Pout on super easily. Unironically, I have <laughs> nothing for him. That's a problem. My best answer is low kicks. Uh, do I assume... It's it's somewhat safe to assume he just goes Hippa down here, because getting paired would be real bad. But if he reads me and, and gets rid of my low kicks, that's going to be a real problem. I guess we'll see. Moment of truth. Okay, I read him correctly. Ooh, that was scary for a bit, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, we always go Leech Life here, just to be able to live more. Uh, we could Axe Cake, though, if we're good, to go for the Confusion Chance, but I, my chances are pretty bad, generally. So we go Leech Life to get most of our health back. Yeah. Slack off, rather annoying. We act sick now. Go for Confusion. We don't hit it. That's brutal. I, I really don't have any other answers for this thing, so I just gotta keep going in on it. No? Okay, well that's rather annoying. He's just gonna stall out. Um, I really should have brought Will-O-Wisp here, but I didn't think to do it. That's my bad. Yeah, that thing's dead. Nessun and Rabska to Revival Blessing uh, my Slew King and actually be more of a menace. The thing is, he can't really touch my Rabska other than Toxic, and that will get him Toxic because of Synchronize. So I just get a free Revival Blessing no matter what. The thing is, he does get a Send and Charizard here, and I don't think I have any good answers for that. Because he can set up here, kinda. But Psychic does decent damage, I'll just go for that. Good play. Actually intelligent play, what the hell? Um, you know, I have odds to live here. <laughs> we go for it. Uh, okay, okay, intelligent. 
I mean, I still don't mind bug buzzing most things as long as it's not Charizard or Gengar or Cobalion. It specifically has to be Hip Out on, but <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, we just Earth Power. I don't think it's it's worth swapping around. Wow, wow, that's crazy. Uh, he just he doesn't go Charizard. Okay, we get a nice hit in then. We take this. Yeah. Okay, so from here, we don't have too many options. We, Hippowdon has to die, but we actually have more answers for him now. So what we can do is low kicks forces his low kicks away. If he's a real psycho, he stays in and kills me here, but I, I don't think he is, so I get a leech life off. Yeah. Leech life up out on neat. Now we go slow king, because slow king's back. Hopefully he lives. He does live because he goes for slack off. And then he swaps back to low kicks here. But I don't really want to take all that damage from Stealth Rock. I, I really should have had some hazard removal in here. I guess I go for Scald for the burn chance. I also just it's kind of the right plane to have out on. Cavalian, that's even better of a play. <laughs> we take this. Cavalian shouldn't have anything that kills me here, but he could just bolt switch. Although nothing takes Scald in his team. I think this is the play. I could pivot out and give Sloking more health, because Sloking is a, a key member right here, and if I'm miscalking, it's miscalking. Cool. It's, he's more specially invested, I suppose. Big mistake on my part, but I mean, he, he's just going to swap a pout on back in. I need an answer right now. Does Gengar take a first impression? He does, but he doesn't take a suck it bunch. I think I have to take those odds. Yeah. Well, <laughs> moment of truth, uh, most things take Thunderbolt worse, so I'm gonna go for that one. And I'm just hoping he doesn't go hip out on, because that just answers the Thunderbolt. He's probably wondering what the fuck I got on this Gengar. <laughs> I'm pulling it out here. <laughs> but yeah, if he pulls out his own Gengar, fair play. A Balian doesn't like taking that Thunderbolt. We take this. If he goes hip out on, I just have to swap, yeah. That's so annoying. Do I let my own low kick size the question? Does Tinkaton really have any value left? Looking around, Tinkaton dies to low kicks. Tinkaton like tanks a hit from getting. Yeah, I take it. I could die. We won't be needing you much longer. Rest in peace. Okay, and from here, does Gengar get smoked? Yes, he does. So we low kicks. Low kicks probably dies just a toxic and stealth rock. Yeah, yeah. You know, misplays on my part all around. I just said I should have had this one. Yeah, I need better. I, I. That's the one thing I noticed in testing my team. I do need better answers for a Powdon, because I'm kind of banking it all on Slow King. I. I should have pivoted him better to make him live more. That's kind of my bad. Okay. Then the question is, do I want to counter pick teams? Let me double check through my own teams real quick. It's been a minute. I, I made these teams like a week ago. Do I have anything that answers them particularly well? I do remember liking my sand team. I could always go with my... Uh, my other team here as well. The ice team is not awful. I don't really know, honestly. Because so what do I want to answer his stuff? Do I have a good answer in Stoutland? I don't really know, to be honest. I, I should have tested more against the Powdon. I, I don't know why I didn't think he'd be as popular as he is. I guess I go with the ice team. That's it's a risky it's a risky swap, but I think it makes sense. Here we go. Round two, the Aloma Lolo swap. Then I could have just kept my team. I I beast on that thing with Thunderbolt and Trick on Gengar. Kind of make uh, regret making those swaps. How do we start? I mean, we just start low kicks, right? Kind of the same thing as last time. And the question is, does he start 
Charizard because that answers that. Or does it? Let me just let me do a quick check. I mean, Charizard, uh, pretty good answer, yeah. Hmm. I guess he leads Charizard because most things get answered by it. We go Slowking. Go Slowking. It's already been. It's been one game. I already forgot. Yeah, Slowking tanks the first impression. We do that every time. Always worth the Slowking here. The Alomaloli is actually pretty likely as well, and that's still the play for that. Yeah, we hit this thing with a T-Wave. We need it to be slower. Nice. Nice. Wow. That- that's just annoying, to be frank. Oh, what do I do now? <laughs> I didn't play around the 10% miss, I'll be real, I wasn't ready for it. I guess Tinkaton is- is maybe a play, kind of, in a way, if you think about it. Dude, that sucks. That just sucks. I might even just let him die for this one, to be honest. He kind of deserves it. Yeah, fuck it. That's so annoying though, what the hell? Uh, I just sent out my own low kicks. I don't think anything likes getting hit by this first impression here. No matter what he sends out, it's it's kind of just gonna hit well. That's the nice part, with, with tinted lens, you can just hit everything. Like, there's not as much of a question on anything. <laughs> yeah. Loma Lola does tank it best for sure. It's not even a question. But Loma Lola doesn't do as well. I mean, what is it going to do? Is it going to toxic me? I feel like that's probably what it does, and I don't mind that too much, to be honest. Like, it's going to toxic and then wish. Do I axe kick? I don't I want to risk another 10% after that. I guess actually, wait, yeah. Rapsky here. The synchronize on toxic. <laughs> The Scald is just not what I expected, but I do want my, uh, my Slow King. I need him back. It does look wild that Raps got two shots this thing. It might actually be my best answer for a Loma Lola. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, this thing can't touch me. I mean, a flip turn is just the play here, no matter what. And then I revive my, my Slow King. That's just, it's super annoying that it started off like that. Because the para just makes my low kick beat his low kick. Makes my, my everything else pretty much beat him. Like, literally everything on my team outside of, like, Rabska would beat low kicks just fine. Yeah, now what? I, I don't know. I don't have a real answer for this Charizard anymore. Because it's assumed that I have, you know, the other guys up. Um, yeah. Oh, it's not going to use Solar Beam, so I don't know why that's even, like, on the balance sheet. But either way, I think we just let Rebs could die here. It's not worth something else taking the damage. And then, do we go Slow King? I actually don't know. I really... That's that start through everything in the bind. So now I had to waste that thing. I guess Hurricane kills again, though. Does anything tank this hurricane? Like one thing? Oh, Gengar just outspeeds with T-Bolt. There you go. That's the play. <laughs> Gotta do this. Uh, nice part is T-Bolt. Nothing on it. Literally nothing on his team takes a T-Bolt well. So even if he swaps out, he doesn't take anything. Uh, he takes, sorry, he takes a lot. Or he, except Altaria, I guess. I, I guess that thing is bulkier than I remember. I don't think this thing Oko's me, even with Earthquake. I kind of want to know. Let me click. Earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake doesn't oak uh, Thunderbolt, two shots. I think we do this and see if he roosts. That crit is nice. He did roost. Uh, and then what we do is this and Chili Reception, please. Oh my fuck. That's annoying. I'm not gonna tank. <laughs> I, I, I guess I do, but like, like 1%. The low kicks back out, but the Chili Reception coming out is, is pretty nice. But does that even help here? It sure fucking does. Holy shit. I haven't used this thing in forever, dude. I I, I made this slow team. Eh, I made the snow team literally two weeks ago. The other teams I made a week ago. Like it's it's kind of disgusting. Did he just swap them in? He just swapped them. Then he's gonna he might first impression this. I think I Aurora Bill no matter what. Yeah. 
Bro reveals up. We go. Oh, see, I don't have sync noise anymore. If this thing, I don't actually remember if it learns toxic, but if it has toxic, that's annoying. Um, yeah, the T bolt on Gengar just every single round is looking more and more appetizing. Let's just do that. Bro reveal means it tanks scald well, but the crit is insane. Uh, that just actually sucks. Uh, and then do we Dazzling Gleam expecting the Altaria to come back? I think we do. Or do I trick this thing? <laughs> I could hit this thing with a trick, yeah. Uh, I, it's kind of risky, I think, maybe. But uh, with the Roar Veil up, I'm a lot more confident in a trick play here. <laughs> what does Altaria have? Because now it's specced, which doesn't help it. Heavy Duty Boots, interesting. Uh, we tank one hit and we Shadow Ball. Yeah. Shadow Ball is just mostly the play here. I like it. Shadow Ball spam works. Wonders why does that do so little? That thing is extra bulky. The Braver disables wild. Uh, yeah, Dazzling Game kills. Shadow Ball. Why does it say Shadow Ball kills? Like this range is just wrong. It did 28 last time. I think I just Dazzling Gleam to play it safe. Because at this point, if I had Dazzling Gleam, I should have clicked it before. Like, you can't predict. I mean, you could predict around that, but you'd have to be kind of nuts to do it. Moment of truth. Nice. Nice. That worked out way better than I could have ever imagined. We take those. What the hell? But it's nice. We're in a good position right now. I mean, outside of Slow King being low. Uh, hopefully this thing's not Scarf. That's all I can really play here. It might be Scarfed or I lost the speed time. Not sure, but either way, Low Kicks comes in. Throat Chop, normally the play. First impression of the one I want to go for, to be honest. Yeah, first impression of the one I have to go for, actually, this thing outspeeds. speeds. But he probably thinks I have something up my sleeve. I don't. I just didn't think about that hard. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't realize that. <laughs> Most skin go have sludge bomb. He didn't realize that. Let's go. We take this. We absolutely take this. Completely undeserved W right there. You'll love to see it. What did we? I actually forgot what I even tricked earlier. What has the specs? Wasn't it Altaria? Actually, now that I think about it. Okay. Do I let this thing die? I guess, to be honest, it doesn't outspeed Gengar or anything anymore. I might as well. The question is, do I go out with a bang with Axe Kick? I think so. It outspeeds? Is that normal? Where's my loot kicks? There it is. 311, 328. It outspeeds. I just, I just didn't think about that. That's my bad. Uh, Hurricane kills me here. Why did I do this? I guess because everything else kills everything else. It's actually an annoying place to be in. Um, I mean, Hurricane's not a guaranteed kill. We, we just chill reception. If I live the Hurricane, we're chilling. <laughs> That's literally all I got here. I I got no real hope. I'm uh, playing a guessing man. I, I lost the possible maybe coin flip, depending on how the game thought this was invested. I don't have anything else that likes fighting this thing. Oh. I should have looked. I I forgot this Tinkaton has Rock Slide. And that it probably outspeed. It doesn't outspeed, but it gets close. But with Assault Vest, it actually tanks. Which is kind of the whole point. Hopefully this thing didn't hard read me. Nice. Body Press just slaughters me there. I mean, I got slaughtered either way here. With double defense, it's just gonna spam iron defense. I don't got an answer. Damn, O2. Not the not the greatest start, but I can see a lot of my uh, the ways I went wrong in this game. Yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed that one. I suppose I'll see you in my my second match whenever that ends up happening. Bye bye. All right. Testing out my new team that I just made. We'll see how it goes. Not sure why the text is all buggy like that.
But I did send the challenge. Hopefully he accepts it. I'm actually allowed to play. Alright. Uh, interesting start right here. I don't want to think about it too, too much. I mean, does he lead Hippowdon? Like, no matter what he leads, I just can you turn away with Hippesendipity. But at the same time, is there anything low kicks doesn't like particularly doesn't like that he can't U turn in on? I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, uh Yeah. Not completely here, not completely in the right mindset for this. What about Gengar actually? Nothing here likes fighting Gengar. Yeah. Right? I feel like maybe I'm forgetting something, but I think Gengar is probably the play. Oh, no, yeah, actually, if he'd let her power down, Gengar would have been a real bad idea. But uh, against this thing here, I, I could just hit Shadow Ball. I was going to hit Altaria for hella damage. The special defense drop is so bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, for real. That I just had that happen. Uh, I do have Air Balloon on... My Tinkaton now, which means a Stomping Tantrum is not a problem. Problem is he can hit me with Return and then Stomping Tantrum. Like, what if I don't have this Air Balloon? Let's test that out. Uh, yeah, the combo of Return Stomping Tantrum will be enough to take it out. So I think I just go Slow King, probably. But Return hits him well, too. Yeah, Return hits everything I have pretty hard. This is just the play. Oh, the pursuit. I should have seen it coming. I should have, I mean, there wasn't a way for me to play around that. It was a mistake on my part for walking in Shadow Ball while pursuit was not a possibility. But yeah. Um. Low Kicks comes in pretty well here. This thing doesn't have any speed or anything on him. Yeah, might as well. I just first impression here. Get a nice hit in no matter what he swaps over. And then U-turn kills and gets me a pivot. Beautiful. <laughs> That's what you like to see. That's a great time to be pivoting right there. Means I can send him my slew king. I could either hit him with the scald here or predict something. I think scald hits most things pretty well though. And again, I'm trying to think if there's something here that likes taking Scald. I think Altaria would have normally liked it, but that thing is on 3 health. So, you know, I can I can just hit Scald. Oh, he's his own Slew King. I, <laughs> I missed that. That was kind of stupid on my part. Either way, we T-wave him. He T-waves us. He does not T-wave us. We teleport out into Tinkaton. So I can set up rocks. I kind of forgot I put Stealth Rocks on this thing, to be honest. He TP'd out as well. Uh, I don't really hit this thing that well or anything, but I, what I can do is just throw Stealth Rock out. <laughs> I'm glad I did, because I did not expect that <laughs> at all. I didn't even know that thing learned Volt Switch. That's wild. What the hell? I mean, Slurking takes everything here, right? Yeah, Earthquake 3 Earthquake. Earthquake 3 hit KOs, we're fine. Okay, we both got our rocks out here. He's going to send out his Slow King. Or is he going to predict? Here's the thing. Now that he's done the Slow King play once, does he really do it again? I think it just makes sense, though, because, like, what am I going to do about it? And then I take Stealth Rock damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. But the question is, I guess, what do we do about this? Like, now we have him where we want him. Um, so we low kicks. Heavy Duty Boots coming in clutch here. First impression just hits everything nicely yet again. Nothing's changed since the last time I pressed it. Nail Terry is finally dead. Nice. That's that's a great start to things. He did get out the Hippowdon here, like actually. But knock off to some solid damage here, and I can take a Ooh, I cannot take a Stone Edge crit. Not what I expected to happen. <laughs> uh now now he predicts me to, to teleport and I scald. Right. I guess the problem is there's no downside to him swapping Slow King here, but uh, man, it's just worth the attempt. Doesn't hurt that much to attempt it. Let me TP out into R Rickety here, or Rebska, sorry. 
Rapsco can take a hit from most things. The question is, what do I want to do with it? I have my options here. Uh, three hit KO is just not worth it. I always revival blessing here. I think I bring my low kicks back because it's just a good. It's a good thing to have. Now that I know about Stone Edge. It's pretty easy to play around that. Obviously, it's going to be half health, but it, it doesn't really take hits to begin with. But, you know, perhaps it just dies here, so I can go to pivot onto something else. Question is, what is that something else? Because we have no air balloon, right? We, we don't. Yeah, we don't have air balloon anymore, so we don't have that immunity. Problem is, nothing else takes a return all that well. I guess I could pheasant dip it and, and play rough. There's something here. Oh yeah, steel typing. Which would not be great. I mean, what I can't do even anything to bait out anything that isn't stomping tantrum or return, so I might as well just go Tinkaton. I hit a Gigaton hammer, no matter what they're sending out here. It's always a good hit to get off. Almost had him. Uh the question is do I go for a rock side flinch? The Rock Slide Flinch does save me here because Gigaton will kill the next turn, but I just don't think it's worth the risk. I think I just go Slurking again. Because he can just slack off here. That's, yeah, that's the play I kind of expected him to make. And now he sends out his Glaceon of all things. That's the last thing I expected to see right now. Um, Why is that good for him? I'm trying to figure out what makes that particularly nice here. And I don't see it. I'll be real. <laughs> maybe I'm missing it. Maybe Glaceon has some crazy move that I just don't see here. But, uh... Nothing likes getting hit by this gate on yet again. I mean, we can just we can just keep pivoting every four seconds. I don't really mind pivoting back to Slowking for the eighth time. Kind of annoying to have to do so, but, you know. It's, uh... Yeah. Get this thing with Scald now. Glaceon hit with Scald is fine as well. Puts it down to five. The burn kills, right? Let's go. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful play there. This thing Pursuits. Does Pursuit hit through Teleport? This Pursuit doesn't kill. Crunch does. I, I just have to make the read on him properly. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I actually don't know. I think it makes sense for me to swap normally, which is why I stay in an either T-Wave or Skull. I think Scald for the damage makes sense. Like, what does he have? Dude, this is this is the scary turn. Oh no! This turn is straight terrifying. Because if he hits Return or Crunch, I just die. Actually, I'm not guaranteed that. So what I do is I T Wave. Yep, the Pursuit Ren. The T Wave is out. I'm still way slower than him, but I'll I'll take it. That's. Uh, the para, beautiful. <laughs> He's just gonna keep spamming pursuit, so you know that's what it is. But uh, damn. Okay, I need to make sure this about on dies if it swaps in. What do I have that does that for me? Take it, sun hammer. Right. Let's take it, sun hammer. Yeah, get it, sun hammer kills pretty much everything equally. Yeah. Well, except Cobalion, because then he goes Cobalion if I go with Gigaton Hammer. Does my low kicks kill here in one hit? And Stoutlands. It does with U-turn, that's perfect. We hit him with that U-turn. Pretty guaranteed kill. And then a nice pivot. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, yeah. Pheasant Dippity for the follow-up U-turn. I kind of regret not having heavy duty boots on this thing, but. I thought steel was <laughs> immune to fear. I didn't realize it just resisted it. That kind of changes things, but we still just U turn our way out of here. Oh, I'm slower. That's a mistake. Did not realize I was slower. Um, Beyond that, though, Cabellion walls everything. So. I guess I go knock off with X here. Not really any other options as far as things go. I think it's fast than low kicks, damn. That is insane. And with the sucker punch for free damage. 
increase his attack even more. Yeah, this is not looking great, I'll be real. I, I don't think anything here at speeds. Yeah, so I just gotta go tank a ton and, and hope he doesn't click body press. I, I don't really know. That crit sucks to him. What did I crit? This is the crit knockoff? It doesn't really matter. He's hitting body press, that's another entire thing. Yeah, I didn't have an answer for Cabellion on this thing, which I definitely should have had, and that's my bad. GG's. Not the greatest first round. Let's see if I can, between matches, quickly find a move on first and deputy that can hit. Because what am I not going to click? I'm not really going to click play rough. Is there anything... I mean, Heat Wave kind of, in a way, hypothetically, does damage, but not really anything meaningful. Yeah, we don't have anything, do we? Everything's, like, neutral or, or not helpful. That's very unfortunate. Is it worth the attempt? I don't even know. To be fair, I, I don't even know what else my other moves do. I, I guess the plays just have Gengar up there. I kind of sacked him way too early for nothing. Which is my misplay. Yeah, let's give this a shot. Alright. There we go. Game 2. Similar team, but different. What did he swap out? He doesn't even have the Cabellion. I guess he assumed I thought the Cabellion was annoying and was working to play around it. The Pursuit Stoutlin just sitting in the back, there's definitely going to be something that happens here. But he definitely also leads uh, Hippowdon, so I guess Slurking? Is there a way that Slurking is stupid here? Let me just quickly like, go through his whole team. My Slurking here and see if anything does disgusting amounts of damage to him. Now you can at least take a hit from everything here, which is good enough. Yeah, perfect start. Nothing really likes getting hit by this skull here. Even Glaceon doesn't really like it too much. The burn on Glaceon both times is ridiculous, to be frank. <laughs> like, he hits me with freeze strike here, but it, it just does mud shot. What the fuck is the point of that, bro? It's looking. That's the slowest mod in the whole tier anyway. What the hell? Do we go for burn here? I don't really know. It's gonna pursue- I I really need to learn how pursuit works, that's my big problem here. I think teleport doesn't proc it, maybe? Nice, nice. That was a great pivot by yours truly. And the question is, pivot into what? I think the answer is always Tinkaton. It's always Tinkaton. That's a beautiful pivot right here. I mean, we get a ton of anything that comes in and just stealth rock the next turn. It's it's always a great play. Sloking doesn't particularly like it. It's in hammer either. We're knockoff for that matter. I could just knock off this thing and put it in a solid range. Let me still throw. Get that set up. The slack off. Beautiful, beautiful. Do I put in my own Sloking just to proc regenerator? Is kind of the question. Is that even an option? That's a big option. Absolutely free option. He's trying to go for a burn. He's not. Okay. Well, Crunch just kills me here, so uh, there goes Slow King. Pursuit does too. Um, is this thing banded actually? I haven't even thought about that. Has it even used another move? With three Stoutland right here, he's Crunch. That was the only thing it used. Uh, I wonder if he's just feigning banned or if he's actually banded. Because if he's actually banded, then low kicks makes a whole lot of sense here. But otherwise, it's it's a lot more debatable as to whether or not low kicks make sense. I think we just first impression regardless. Altaria doesn't... Uh, Altaria just consistently getting hit by this first impression can't be good for him either. And the Brave Bird can hit me for damage if it hits me at all. But, uh... Raybird 99.6 makes me think if it has the right item that I die here. But I'm also faster, so I can just swap around to whatever I want to swap to. 
Uh, and I think they'll just be Tinkaton, because it was everything other than like Earthquake. Why would he hit Earthquake here? Yeah, Roost. Beautiful. Hit with a Gigaton. Slow King with a Gigaton. I don't mind. Have I hit this thing? Yeah, Heavy Duty knocked off. I was. I had to double check that. Um, I want to go Gengar here, but then he swaps in Stoutland. But the, is Thunderbolt enough for Stoutlands? That's the question. Stoutlands current health pool? Yeah, that's enough. Unless he teleports. If he teleports this turn, I just die to Pursuit. That's a really risky play to make versus low kicks possibly just being pretty free here. The thing is, he's just going to Scald. Like, I, I know it's coming, but I, it's more of what do I want to take that Scald. Uh, and I, I think it just might not be low kicks. What? That's... <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Holy shit, this was a complete mistake. That's unfortunate. I, I genuinely did not plan for this to happen in the slightest. Oh my god. That really sucks. I, I mean, Revival's always the play here. This Ravshka does just not do enough. That's... Oh my, I hate that. I hate that for myself. That was such a fucking misplay. That mattered a good amount. Okay. Well, now that he's already in, it doesn't make sense to send him Gengar. I think we're sending Present Dippity. Because he hasn't stomping once, and we still are fine if he does. I guess I should have maybe given this thing something stabbed, because I just have a dual wing beat on it. Which doesn't really help anything, honestly. <laughs> None of these matchups here get help with that. Do I U-turn? That could be a player. That was big. Yeah. Not a particular read or anything, I just figured I might. Okay. The question is now, does he bring in his Slow King? I think the answer is yes. The answer is no. Oh, that fucking blows. <laughs> I, obviously, he does it turn two. I, I did at least read that correctly, but that fucking blows that you got three rocks. Now we're mostly even on that front. Uh, is Slow King already in? Slow King was already in, so he goes back to Stoutland if I make the wrong swap here. Which means I go low kicks and just hope Skull doesn't burn if he went for it. Which he didn't. He hasn't went for it at all. He plays very passively. This thing's rather annoying. I just use turn away from it. I don't have to deal with it at all. That crit is pretty nice. I mean, so far this thing's only used Braid Brood. And... I think it's on tanks that bust above all else. However, depending on the move, uh, Fist and Dippity could just tank it as well. It's anything dragon base. He's not good at pressing anything dragon base when I have two fairy types. Is it worth just having Fist and Dippity take the fall after whatever else comes in? I don't really know. I mean, this thing, what, 284 speed? I could always go Gengar and just. E bolt, but then he swaps in and like the the problem is pursuit stoutland just answers gengar completely and i never really thought about that in any of my testing and i don't have any teams without this gengar so it puts me in a very awkward spot tankaton's faster right yeah tankaton's faster sick this thing just dies dies to knockoff which means we go for knockoff because no matter what he swaps in here they don't like getting hit by knockoff yeah big big Let's go. You'd love to see it. Well, this thing actually takes knockoff fine, but most other things he had did not take knockoff as well. We still had sand with our own slow king here. Uh, we hit teleport the same turn that he does, I think. My psychic a three hit KO. He has slack off right now. Slack off. He might just slack off here, but that means I, I just go to low kicks for free. If he scalds, so it's smart play by him, but I just didn't see that happening at all. Out on the sand is gone now though. Which means I can actually beat this up out on. Depending Oh no 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 I forgot. Oh luckily he forget you didn't know I'd forget. <laughs> so I made a really stupid play and I go on punish. Beautiful. Holy shit, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I forgot about he had Stone Edge on that thing. Or he did last game. I guess he could have a non-stone edge shit out right now. He just goes soaking most of the time here, but I skull just in case. Yeah. No way that thing lives on fucking two. It's gonna roost. 
on our roost, we teleport out, we go low kicks, we pivot around, uh, Raybird Oko, so we U turn into Tinkaton or whatever. Same shit, different thing. Yeah. yeah. Unless he has a different move all of a sudden, we do take one Raybird most of the time. Okay, interesting. I, I think we rock slide to try and just get this thing away. Yeah. This Rock Slayer has a flinch chance. Gate and Hammer is a nice killing blow. Uh, this. I just got Slurking to Slurking. Fuck yeah. I, I really. I can't be bothered with thinking of real answers for this thing. But his Slurking. I mean, if it has Thunder Wave, he's been really reserved with it, considering that nothing on my team can take a Thunder Wave at all. So I'll just go with, like, assuming he just doesn't have it. Like, I don't know. He's gonna clearly slack off or teleport, either or. I don't think I mind. Psychic two hit KOs here? That's crazy, but I mean, this thing is just gonna do the same shit, but I can hit it with a T wave. The defog, kind of annoying. So the Thunder Wave is real big, though. Do I teleport this turn? I teleport this turn. Teleport's a uh, natural cure is real fucking annoying there, but whatever. I mean, look, if I go low kicks, it's going to be the same exchange for the eighth time. If I go pheasantipity, it doesn't matter. Like, this thing tanks everything I have. So low kicks still... Okay, low king. Low kicks is still the play with first impression. It, like, it just does a lot of damage to Solteri every single time. Uh, knockoff kills. Again. <laughs> Neat. Finally got that thing off the field. It's, it's been such an annoying pivot that he's just had. Okay, so he is faster and he just stone edges. I, I, I do think this thing has Pursuit, but I also don't have a swap in if he does use Pursuit. So I think I just knock off again and die. Subs it's it, okay. Knock off doesn't do anything about that. Does he not have Pursuit then? If he doesn't have Pursuit, I mean it still makes sense to just spam knock off here. Or Sucker Punch. Oh, I forgot I had that move. Let's go. <laughs> Beautiful. I just genuinely completely forgot about that move. I don't think Zetlin has a reason to pursue it here. Which means Gengar can finally come in as long as he didn't crunch the Dark type. And why would you crunch the Dark type? That's the real question. I think he went return, which means I actually wall this thing. Let's go. Oh, we're making plays. And then we energy ball because it kills this thing and it hits a pout on and it hits it's just the right play always. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. He just wrote down <laughs> GD, let's go. First round one of any round. You love to see it. That is as a clean, clean game. Let's go see game three. Okay. Glissapod. Okay. The last thing I expected to see, but it does it. Should just lose to low kicks. Like, what was that? I'm confused what that does for him, unless he just expected a different team from it. But we always go slow king here, uh, unless pursuit kills me. I don't really know if it does, is the problem. Let's go slow king and then pursuit. Yeah, we'll live a pursuit. So I think we still just lead slow king. That's just a better lead I'm not seeing. We could low kick to U-turn. I mean, that is, that is unironically always a play. But I want to stop his Sapaudon, which is the normal lead here. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see what we do here. Okay, actually, probably the best start I could have asked for. We sculled this thing. We sculled most things. Everything other than Slew King. If he burns here, he, he gets a real big benefit. Oh, that's brutal. That's real annoying. Now I got nothing. <laughs> now I got nothing. Uh... I think I just Psychic, just because he's going to teleport. 
Special defense drop forces teleport if you hadn't already pressed it. First impressions coming in for sure. And who tanks that particularly well? Why is there no move set here? First impression, uh, like what tanks that particularly well? I obviously, Tinkaton, but do I really have to Tinkaton so early? Ah, this is my answer. Oh, but this thing doesn't answer the water-based moves. But I guess neither does Tinkaton. The thing with Tinkaton is I can I can get that. Let's try Liquidation. How much Liquidation do I? Just with a standard set. Obviously, this isn't what he's going to be running. Let's see, Liquidation, two hit KOs, both of them, which is a problem. But he's probably first impressioning anyway. Leech life. What the actual fuck is he cooking here? Do I just U-turn expecting him to swap, or do I just assume he has liquidation? I don't really know. I think I dual wing beat because it triggers a lot of things for a lot of people. Okay. Uh, this thing's terrifying still. It just outspeeds everything other than Gengar. And that is it. Yeah. But he also doesn't really deal with slow king that well. Who is in full health, so we just go slow king. Like the vault switch relatively obvious, but uh shit. This one's scary. If I hit it with a skull and I actually get the burn, it's so big. But most times I can teleport to the play. So much. It's everything. I'm assuming he's returning here, which means we U turn every single time. We just U-turn over to... Oh, that's beautiful. It's just... That's so big. I mean, this thing, like, is going to swap. But nothing like taking a first impression from low kick. So I'm completely happy to see that happen. Almost tempted to stay in here, even though I know he's going to actually press the move this time. Because he realized last time that I didn't realize. Stealth Rock. Okay. Earthquake actually kills me here. I don't know why it swaps in here. That was really risky. I go over to the air balloon fella. Okay, nice. Oh, time to see if he has liquidation. Because uh, I'm not really... I don't know. He hasn't used it yet. But it is a, it is always a war of attrition. I think I go back to slow king. But if he first impressions, I'm fucked. Oh yeah, the liquidation read was big. And then now he hits me with leech life. And I go back to Pheasantipity. Just use some regenerator. Beautiful. Alright, we dual wing beat most things. Or do I read the swap this turn? Because I'm assuming he can't touch me that well. But he might not be assuming that. I think I U-turn. Yeah, U-turn was the play. Every time with Pheasantipity, it's pretty much always the play. The fact that I haven't procced a single Toxic when it's a 30% chance with Toxic Chain is just kind of annoying. But at the same time, it did put me in this position where Slow King is just the right answer for fucking everything here. He has no reason to stay in other than to slack off, but he might. It was worth Scalding just to risk that. Also, the other option that I was going to have was T-Wave, which wouldn't have helped me there at all. I, luckily, I'm slower, so I get the teleport out, or we're speed tied. I don't really know. Uh, Stoutland, Stoutland, Stoutland. Turn kills you. Return doesn't touch low kicks, and low kicks touches him. That's a pretty cut and dry case, unless this thing has, like, Stone Edge or some weird shit, which I, I if it does, I didn't know it got that. Lissapod hits emergency exit soon. It's gonna first impression me or Leechley. And uh, I don't want to take that to be honest. If I go Pheasant Deputy and take a bit more damage. Aqua chat. Dude, what are these? What is this set? What is he running? I don't understand it. Anyway, this double Aqua Jet makes a lot more sense than what I was thinking in my head. Which was not particularly intelligent to be frank. Um, uh, Tankaton really is my only consistent answer to this thing, huh? I order Gengar, but Gengar gets pursuit trapped. It, <laughs> Stoutland being alive just invalidates my Gengar, and it's kind of annoying, to be honest. But what I could do is T-Bolt. Yeah, actually, no, it doesn't get a swap in for free here. 
Default's always going to do solid. Unless he goes to power down predicting it. But that would be a crazy prediction to make for no reason. Because what you do is you go Stoutland, you take one Thunderbolt of damage, then you realize, oh, he's Thunderbolting. Uh, and then you swap back. The pair is so big. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's kind of fucked, but I'll take it. Uh, anyway, I don't remember this thing having anything scary, so I can probably just swap over to my, my Gigaton Hammer Spammer. Or I could even go Rabska and uh, dick around there. Or I just stay in on Gengar and kill this thing in two turns, which is kind of the, oh, the, the natural cure is mad annoying. But yeah, I got greedy there. Uh, he called me out on it. Very, very greedy maneuvering. Slacks off, right? Yep. Now he swaps Lo uh, not Lo King. <laughs> Lo King. He swaps Slow King and I go. Yep. Yep. And I first impression uh, damn near everything he's got. Including this Apodon. Uh, you turn over to my Slow King yet again. He slacks off. And we're just gonna rinse and repeat until things happen. Or he does that, and now I look low enough that he might go for the- Nope, he didn't go for the finish. And that's my bad. A scald, but that's why we have teleport. Go back to low kicks for the eighth time. Uh, we knock off here, because it can kill. And also because chances are he swaps to something that wouldn't like getting knocked off. Yeah. Neat. Uh, and then we you turn our way out of here yet again. We go back to Slow King for the 400 trillionth time. He slacks off. Kind of annoying. We teleport. Is that we go last? We just it's a rinse and repeat. We're literally just running through the gauntlet right now. First impression this time. I mean, we're PP still on slack off. I fucking guess uh, this is just kind of obnoxious. But to be fair, if either of us stops doing this, the whole thing falls apart. So we kind of were just stuck in this infinite loop of doing this exact same thing every two milliseconds. It's actually just obnoxious. Not very beneficial to either of us. Always teleport. He should teleport. I don't know why he's swapping like manually. It's kind of a mistake. He finally got bored, which is very nice for us. Because what it means is that... Just do Tinkit Sun, I think. Or we Shadow Ball with Gengar because he'll expect the Thunderbolt. But if we do that and we're wrong, then we're when we're fucked. I think we actually energy ball. It's not a guaranteed kill, but it's it's so nice for most things. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm dead. Might as well hit an energy ball. In the it's just f oh yeah, Sand. I didn't realize Sand was up. I was going to say, it's just faster in here? Oh, you guys crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, Slow King takes a hit, and we T-Wave, but we don't do that yet. But we also don't go to anything else, so that's kind of a problem. We go Tinkit Sun. We put in the Stealth Rocks after Giga Sun Hammer. Because so we just take hits like that. Yeah, we Stealth Rock, fuck it. We, we're probably getting burned here because I'm unlucky, but... The, that's what it is, yeah. Uh, like, I don't know if that was a worthy exchange. It's something I expected to, to see happen here. I'm assuming he was going to swap or something, but I was wrong. At least now that thing lost heavy duty boots. Uh, I don't think. He oh, he still has to fog. Never mind. He very much still has to fog. We go to our slow king here. He gets annoyed, and then we go back to the same cycle. So fun. Okay. Uh, free Rabska. Absolutely free Rebska. Now the question is, do we use our free Rebska to hit Stoutland? And the answer to that is hell no. <laughs> we, we revive Gengar here most times. And I think this is most times, because it's just nice for dealing with most things. The Altaria coming in. Brave Bird hits us hard. Tinkaton is on their deathbed. It's gonna... The thing is, like, I can see what it's gonna do, which means I Psychic. It's not doing that. Okay, I thought it was a defog play for sure, but Psychic was still an amazing play here. We just die, because then it dies. Oh. Slow King doesn't even kill here, so I hit a fat bug buzz for lots of damage and then burn. It's just 
Like, what is he doing, bro? These pivots are shit. Earth power hits hella hard. He has to know about it. Oh my god, the flinch! Are you kidding me? That's that's actually game changing. Like, come the fuck on, bro. Are you dead ass with that one? That is ridiculous, to be frank. That is just completely ridiculous. I actually hate it here. Oh, this is a certified slow king scald moment, but like, what the fuck, bruh? That, that is so unfortunate. I have to look around and see what tanks what here. Because the problem is he's gonna send in stout one. Um, is it worth dying just to pair a stout one is the question. I think the answer to that is hell no. So I think I teleport out. Yep, 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 yep. Right play. Whew. Oh, I forgot this thing existed. Does it even have first impression or is he just feigning it? I, I really could not tell you. But it's also not worth the risk. Except on Gengar. Let me just make double check that first impression doesn't do enough to kill you. Yeah. Yeah, Gengar T-bolts now for free. There's no Hippowdon. Yeah, Gengar, wait, Gengar actually T-bolts for free. Thunderbolt is play every time. There's Alteria yet again. Alteria is low enough to die, but now this thing comes in and doesn't outspeed me because there is no sand, which means I get a nice, fat, juicy hit in there. And then what we do is we send in low kicks, hit him with a U-turn because it kills or pivots, depending on what he swaps in. And we're chilling. We're we're not in. We're not fucked here. This is very annoying territory. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm pivoting between low kicks and slow king every three turns, but that's something I can afford to do. And that's the neat part of this whole exchange. We go tinkets on every single time here without fail. This thing's dead. Like I I'd rather have swap advantage than die here. Uh, we knock this thing off. Yeah. Okay. Now, moment of truth, what the actual fuck do I do here? The answer is just go slow king and uh, uh, get him to swap Galissapod for the eighth time. And what do I do to Galissapod? That's kind of the remaining question. The answer is I guess I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll see in five seconds. Uh, I could T wave actually, always. I can always T wave. T wave is play. That one getting swapped in. Moderately annoying. Doesn't Oko me though, and I can hit a skull and then kill me. That's game. Killing me is game there. There's just no coming back from that. Uh, I mean, we just first impression regardless, but it's over because uh, Glissopod beats me. That sucks. That's rather unfortunate. He didn't even have first impression. I oh wait. Emergency exit! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold up, let him cook. JK, I'm dead to fucking most things. If this thing is close combat, the game ends. If it doesn't have close combat, coin flip of living. Coin flip of living. <laughs> Paying out. Let's go. Except we don't even get a kill off of it. That's the game. GG's. I'm, I'm actually kind of pissed that he gets the flinch and I, I don't get a single poison ever. Like, at any point. Very annoying. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I guess that's probably the end of this run. Unless the third guy is bad enough that I get two wins. But I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Alright. Time for my third game. If I win this one, I think there's a chance I technically move up through pools by getting third. Uh, if I lose this one, it's it's beyond over. But yeah, locking in the same team as normal, and we'll see what happens. All right, the colossal of all things, actually insane. What the hell? That's the last thing I expected to see. Um. All right. <laughs> uh, this is. 
This is quite a team. I actually, uh, I haven't prepped against damn near everything on this team. I I've never played against Colossal. I've played against Loma Lola like once and Decidueye like once in, in all my prep. Uh, which is kind of rough as a start, to be honest. Stoutland sucks? Damn. Sucks for his team or what? Actually, yeah, because I can just earthquake a lot of things, but that's just clearly a mind game. I'm not, I'm not that stupid, I don't think. Question is, what does it even lead? And the second question is, how does it beat Gengar? And my third question is, it just doesn't most of the time, unless it's his uh, decision way. We'll see. We will see. Let's hit that timer on. No joke. Yeah. He, he didn't start the timer on me when I was doing my, yeah, my stuff. I'll give him time to think, I suppose. Or not. I don't know, I'm kind of impatient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, let's see what he leads. Colossal, colossal, colossal. Does this thing get a ground type move? Does it get like earthquake? It does. In earth power. Yeah, it doesn't hit me that well. I mean, we just shadow ball. Tinkaton doesn't even really like shadow ball either. It doesn't hate it, but it also just doesn't like it. I mean, he could knock me off, but I'm still fine. You can just spam Shadow Ball. <laughs> like, I lead Gengar just get a free kill, and then Low Kicks is here for cleanup, so I I'm not too unhappy with any of this. Special Defense Drop is very extra. Honestly, the <laughs> knockoff is pretty big, all things considered. I don't even have to think anymore. I think actually I T books he goes to Luma Lula, right? Because it kills here still, it does solid damage to most other things. Except his Gengar. His Gengar will beat me. Let's see. Colossal. Yeah. Not my finest move. I think Shadow Ball would still have been the play. Uh, from here, we can go Slow King, and I think we do just go Slow King. Don't have to worry about anything. What even is that move? <laughs> what is. I've never seen that in my life. Power doubles if the user's last move failed. Interesting. Uh, it's genuinely interesting. Yeah, Decidueye comes out. The burn is oh, oh, so juicy. I kind of feel bad for him because I I did just bitch about the the flinch from Iron Head that kind of lost me a game earlier, but I don't think this is to the same degree. Uh, I think most things are fine here. Let's see, Poltergeist is really calm in this tournament, but yeah, we just go low kicks for free. And then we swap low kicks for free because this is a pointless matchup. I could knock off, but it's it's not worth the hassle. Uh, that thing's probably flip turning anyway. Hopefully, we're just hitting Wish. Either or I'm pretty happy with, yeah. And we can hit a stealth rock here and get that all set up. The flip turn comes out and his own tank at 10 comes out. Hell yeah, let's hit each other with hammers. That sounds fun, I think. <laughs> Hell yeah. He'll probably kill my Tinkaton. Oh, he doesn't. Why Why not? Why not do that exchange? That just sounds so fun. Oh, whatever. Did we flinch? Why not? Why, I, I'm almost tempted to do it, but it would be incredibly stupid to go for. Let me just make sure that with some random moves I clicked. Yeah, now this thing does not touch Slow King. So he's just going to go back to Decidueye. Will-O-Wisp is great for us because it means we can't get hit with anything else. We teleport out because Decidueye might be coming back. If Decidueye is not coming back, we can just go to something that can kill this Colossal in one hit. Luma Lula. What we do here uh, is die to flip turn. So what we do instead is we trick this thing and die. Nice way to die. And the Rocky Helmet damages it for a little bit. Kind of a pointless Gengar sack, to be honest. I definitely could have played smarter and avoided that, but uh, it's, it's... I don't know, I'm feeling weirdly confident about winning this one. Just off of the, the guys I got versus his guys. I mean, Stoutland's still just chilling here, and he answers pretty much everything that he's got. Um, we hit each other with hammers. 
It's so fun just hitting people with hammers. You guys should try it sometime. I think we hit him with hammers. Man. Okay, I mean, he's just gonna flip turn again. Does that mean we just revive our Gengar? I think so. This thing's stuck using that, so I'm very happy to do this. Might as well bring Gengar back. Wait, what? None was Rocky Helmet? Did I get knocked off or something and I just forgot about it? I thought I gave that thing my specs. Oh, whatever. We can hit this thing with Earth Power and we live a Temper Flare. And then we kill it. And it didn't even Temper Flare. Uh, does anything on his team even take an Earth Power? The answer to that is no. The thing is, he's going to go Loma Lola again. Uh, and we can still Earth Power Loma Lola, so actually, never mind. And he goes to Sidua and we Bug Buzz. What does Bug Buzz hit Colossal? See, Bug Buzz doesn't hit Colossal. So we actually Psychic, because Psychic gets to Sidui and a Loma Lola for good damage. Just Psychic's the play. It's, just the, it's all the same most other things. It's still one shots Colossal here. Just the play every single time. Beautiful. This is what my Rapsk is here for. I get a free revive on something on a very easy switch in, and then I just kill one or two things on the way out. And that is really big value. <laughs> I basically bring back a Pokemon and then trade one for one most of the time. So we're kind of gaming. But yeah. The Psychic hits as I expected it to. Uh, this thing's gonna wish, maybe. And I guess I just hit it with Psychic again. I mean, nothing on his team really likes the Psychic. And if I use Psychic again, he doesn't learn about Bug Buzz. And then who does he want to heal? That's kind of the question that I'm, I'm left wondering. The answer is Colossal, so I Earth Power. He had to heal himself. That's, you know, that is the third option. And now he knows I, I it, that I'm thinking of him going Colossal. So I just keep psychic -ing. He is actually healing up here, but it's okay, honestly. I'm fine with that. Because he's not damaging me, and he's not going to be able to damage me. Now he swaps, right? Now this this has to be the swap turn. And Earth Power does about the same. So he's swapping. He's not swapping. I think he would have swapped if I was faster, but I think because I waited a sec. The crit is nice, though, on the way out. That Aloma Lilla comes back and it dies. This thing still doesn't take Earth Power, and I still take a Temper Flare. This Decidueye still dies to Bug Buzz. It actually dies the same amount to Psyche, which is crazy. That is a little insane. Um, I mean, we just Psychic. Nothing else in this team takes Psychic. Uh, oh, that thing. Even, even with the burn, huh? You know, I could have played around that better, but whatever. I actually just could have Pursuit Trapped this thing. I'm fucking stupid as hell. Yeah, he should let it die here. Uh, it served its purpose. It's gone off what it wanted to do. Yeah. Now he sent in Colossal. This is just always a Colossal swap. And then this Colossal, a U turn on. And he's going to hit me with a fire move, so I go Slow King. Very simple stuff. Elementary, my dear Watson. Rapid spin. That's the last thing I expected to be seen right now, but then again, Scald hits everything. Still. Except for fucking Lola Lola. Psychic kills? Wait, I'm, fa I'm not faster. But Wish isn't going to do anything. Psychic does hopefully kill. Psychic didn't kill. I've been scammed. Uh, just Scald burns it, so we Psychic again. Okay, now we Scald. Because now he swaps to something else. Yep, beautiful. Red like a book. Unfortunately, no burn. The knockoff hits me hard here, uh, but I will live, and I'll live another one after, so I just skull and hope. Come on. Uh, to be fair, I got something bullshit earlier this game, can't be too mad. Uh, at this point, though, going for a third skull is effectively suicide. The Loma Lola, real damn annoying. What do I even hit this thing with? Okay. Like Gengar, yeah, that's a pretty solid option. 
So what else do I have to hit this thing for any damage at all? It's pretty much just Slow King. Slow King and Gango, so I go Gango. Just to at least damage this thing for a solid amount of damage. I could actually... Is Energy Ball just better now that his other guy's done? Obviously not against Gengar, you always got a Shadow Ball against Gengar, but when he sends that thing in, I get another turn to go lose a speed tie. No, Thunderbolt's just better. Like, across the board, Thunderbolt's just better. Good to know. There's this Tinkaton here. I don't tank anything particularly nicely. Uh, Slow King does take a knockoff quite well, so I can just do that. Knockoff kills me now, which means I go my Tinkaton. But then I died a Gigaton, I think, actually. Wait, make it cancel instead of just... No, oh, I... Well... Gigaton plus Stealth Rock damage probably kills, but then again, what the fuck else do I swap in on this thing? I guess I could have went Stoutland, but I want to hold him till the end. Like, Stoutland's like just so much guaranteed value all the way at the back there. 25% Oko on both sides with Gigaton, I go Gigaton then. Send out a Loma Lola, send out Stealth Rock. I get hit with a Skull. A flip turn? Okay, I'll take it. Then he goes Colossal, for sure. Cabellion? What the fuck? That's the last thing I expected to see here. Uh, What do I do against Cabellion there with my current team? I go Sluking, probably. Yeah. I don't know anymore. So King's like an answer. Yeah, might as well. I, I like either I go Slow King or basically let this thing die for nothing. Slow King can go die for something. The sub. Oh, that's mad annoying. That's not good. That's very much not good, but Slow King does tank most things. This thing does. Sword Stance. What the hell type of set is he running out here? Uh, Sword Sense makes close combat kill. Iron Head does not. If I go for T Wave, I can outspeed with most things. Okay. Well, he did just he did just take the defense rough, but Low Kick still doesn't kill him here. But Gengar does. That's neat. And nothing he has left likes the Shadow Ball. So. You know, that's, that's actually a pretty cut and dry case. <laughs> and we still do have our Stoutland just sitting in the back, waiting for his moment to strike. This Tinkaton's taking enough damage now, right? Yeah? No? No. Wow, that's crazy. I can't lose Gengar here. I can't lose Tinkaton here. I don't need him anymore. He has served his purpose. Got enough what we wanted to get off. He's clearly going back to a Loma Lola. He did not go back to a Loma Lola. He read me like a fucking book. That's brutal. Uh, I think it's finally time for Stoutland to come in and somehow save the game. I don't really have any other ideas, to be honest with you. Big stall may have infiltrated 35 times. Uh, yeah. Stall teams are eating well right now, but this Stomping Tantrum hits everything except literally just Alomalola. But does Alomalola like coming in on it? It doesn't really. Like, Return actually hits for a solid amount. The problem is Alomalola literally just tanks enough to spam Wish and Protect throughout everything. And Wish has the benefit of being 16 whole PP. Do I just go for a defense drop on Crunch? That's like really my best option here. Ironically, I, I don't know. I don't know what my actual real answer is. Like, I could create with return maybe, but I think the defense drop on crunch is more reasonable. Okay, he's gonna swap here, but what am I gonna do? Turn, I guess. Why stomping tension with three hit KO on this guy? That's annoying. Hey, just kill Tinker son. It's uh, okay, man. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, this is a game. Uh, I don't... I don't know, man. Not much more to say. That's kind of annoying. 
I uh, I need more answers for Loma Loma, my team. That's that's just annoying. Let's go figure it out. Who on this team can help with Aluma Lula? Not blue kicks, I know that much. Is it you? Do I have a wild charge or something? Wild charge. Well, let's put in... Let's see, if I had wild charge on here, and this thing was 100 health, how do I change that? HP 100. Turns a 3 hit KO, but if I have wild charge. It's still a 3 hit KO, man. Holy fuck. What an annoying Pokemon. What do I actually do about that? Like, the only answer I have is Gengar. It's not enough, clearly, as I found out. I need to get a trick earlier. Does this thing have something for Loma Lola? Nice little surprise, if you will. Not really. Like, P wave him. That's about it. Oh, what an annoying Pokemon, huh? Energy Ball in here. I mean, Bug Buzz really is not useful. Energy Ball. Have I got Rebska Energy Ball? How does that do? This thing actually crossed the board has been good. What if this was Energy Ball? Is it even worth having a it is. It's it's it, it barely out damages wish. We we're like one percent out damage wish. Do we have a toxic somewhere? Actually, that's the better answer. Which one of these guys gets toxic? I'm sure one of them does. Toxic. Not this move. Hold that. You get toxic. He does, but then I lose out on. Uh, I lose it on Thunder Wave that way. It's kind of annoying. But I think that's the play. Like, But Toxic doesn't even work. I just need a Thunder Wave. Not Thunder Punch. Thunder Wave. We have... We now do have, I guess, Energy Ball there as well. We got Energy Ball here. That's about all I can hope for. Yeah. Let's see what we do against the Stall team. Like how I said something like I feel confident going into the start of that game. Should not have been confident. I just haven't I haven't played against proper Loma Lola still like this in a while. It's real damn annoying. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is unironically, Slow King lives, T waves, that thing's T wave the rest of the game, and then I work with it from there. Yeah, I made that trick, okay. I just didn't swap anything. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with most of this team, TBH. Does he just start a Loma Lola or is it Gengar or whatever? I mean, that's right. Most things could answer fine by Stoutland. I underused him last time. I'm going to start with him this time. As long as it's not like uh, Decidueye, I am golden. It's kind of the consistent thing with all these. As long as it's not Decidueye, I'm golden. Actually, wait, do I... Not speed my Netric, as long as he's not scarfed out, speed with low kicks. And then Gengar. I forgot if Gengar even kills low kicks. <laughs> I'll be honest, that's not a common. Yeah, he doesn't, okay. And then low kicks out okay, in return, so yeah, that's the play. Here we go. Let's see what happens. And we beat the stall. Now, this team is less stally, to be fair. I'm actually allowed to play the game a little bit more, but I did make a vital move swap. Need beam. Magnetric was expected. However, I forgot this thing gets overheat. But I should not outspeed at all. And I don't know why I thought that was the case. But it will overheat. Maybe. Probably. Do I just first impression anyway and die? Might be a play. Might be a play, unironically. Yeah, fuck it. He probably doesn't expect me to stay in. No, he didn't. Flame thrower though instead of overheat, kind of a throw. Specs dog is a free matchup, it seems, but I'm not Specs. Yeah. Yeah, you're not. And now we T wave this thing, hopefully. Please don't flip turn early. Please hit hit a wish. Don't flip turn. Oxy, what the fuck? 
Get out of here with that. I too hit KO Psychic in return. Hold the phone. Come on. Come on. Please. There's no wish on it. There's no wish on it. Wait. It like dies next time it comes into most things. And then I scald here because I spam Psychic every other time. Come on. Burn this time. Sure. Am I like am I am I the delusional one for thinking that one of these days I'm bound to hit a burn of some kind? Like is that really a crazy thing to want to believe in and to almost expect to happen? And nothing really tanks this thing too well, so I just I just hope for burn. Burn? No burn. Okay, I mean he's just gonna swap this thing again by psychic most of the time. Against this thing, it's fine. Just gonna swap back and try to heal up on me. I'm actually dying to wait. I'm fucking retarded. I'm so stupid. I didn't remember toxic like, exists. I don't know why. I, uh, I just made so many stupid plays right there, all in a row. Uh, low kicks. Can die, I think. Yeah. We have to first some pressure. Just to get some damage on the board now. Gigaton is out, which means I can Gigaton now. But what would he do in return? I guess we'll find out. So I don't really know. I actually do know exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna send out his Aloma Lola. Look, he's getting beaten easily is nice. That's true. I did make it kind of absurdly easy for him. <laughs> It's been a very poor showing by yours truly. Illumilily expected. It's paired now. Mostly good to go. Uh, you were the answer with energy ball, which means I go to slow king. Why is the slow king such an important pivot here? Do I just go Gengar? Does he have any real answers for Gengar and Thunderbolt? He does, actually. Yeah, he's got that good right there. Uh, but what about Gengar and Energy Ball? Now, I like the looks of that right there. But Magnetric will get healed, so what if he's at 96 instead of 46? Oh, it's still decent. I'll, I'll take those odds. Take those odds. Oh, he didn't swap. Flip turn. Yeah, it's a smarter way to swap. Sedui is out. That means I am also out of here. Uh, just just that one probably. He's got something ghost type most of the time. I mean, he might read that. It's a pretty easy read to make. He didn't read that. It was a pretty easy read to make regardless. Uh, and then I think I just pursuit trapped this thing. Yep, I just got a crit. <laughs> Dizzard. Do you know, I think I'm banded maybe and I go crunch? I don't fucking know, man. I'm guessing as much as you are. <laughs> he's, <laughs> no, he's thinking. He's gonna. I wonder if he's gonna think himself into a thoughts of pursuit. Does he think I'm that smart? I could be some days. Today's not one of them. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> we take this! Alright, oh this fucker. Wait, you're dead now. You're dead now? Come on. Gotta just be dead now. I would love to happen. Four percent. It didn't get para. I needed that para. I can have a para here, maybe? It's an idea. I should have pursued it. I should have fucking pursued it. Oh my god, such an idiot. Uh. So I let this thing kill Slow King, and now I need Slow King to pivot. He's too essential. Yeah, we stopping tantrum and get parried as a response, which I guess makes me slower now. Which means I double stomping tantrum. <laughs> I might lose this one to the edge. Doubtful. 
<laughs> he still has advantage over me. It really depends on how I play my Rabska. I'll be real. Uh, my Rabska is is really the the be all end all of most things. Uh, why is this thing? Some sort of problem. I mean, I, I go Tinkerton, he goes Slurking. That's just a guarantee. Everything else just doesn't like Gigaton. Which means he goes Slow King, I go Gengar. Look at this play right now. I'm about to go crazy. Unless he wants to sack it, but I don't think he's in that type of mood. He's in that type of mood. Oh, he's not in that type of mood. Okay, yeah, we're chilling. We shut up all everything. I'm just double checking. Yeah, we shut up everything. Oh! I was scared. <laughs> I was real scared. Holy fuck, man. That was, this game is still terrifying. It could still go poorly. It probably won't. Like I said, the para on the Loma Lola was the real answer all along. I kind of forgot that that is just a simple solution to most of life's problems is hit a para. <laughs> yeah. Got about 25% kill. Let's go. Misclick. I mean, what the fuck else do you send in here? Your, your own Gengar? <laughs> it really is just time for the Gengar speed time. That's all there is to it. It's as shrimple as that. This thing actually lives. It kills me with Shadow Ball. 174 versus 127. I get outsped, so I have to go Tinkaton. Tinkaton, Gigaton. You know, as you do on literally anything on his team. Does not like it anymore. Yeah. His Tinkaton dies to it, his Loma Lola is dead, guaranteed, no matter what hits it. And we're, we're balling here. I guess the play here that he's making is he's going to come in whenever I don't hit Tinkaton with, yeah, yeah this, is, this is intelligent maneuvering right here. Almost tempted a Rock Slay just to, to maximize the odds of Wish failing, because uh, kind of scared about it. But Rocky Helmet's now gone, which makes that thing much, much less of a problem. Uh, we can just go Rebska and revive on most things. The Protect, ooh, ooh, misplay of the year. I could kill this thing with Energy Ball, but it's better to have my Gengar. Or my Low Kicks, wait. Low Kicks is just better here. Right? I, I kind of need this thing to still die, but I think that's the play. <laughs> the Pharaoh, let's go! <laughs> uh, please don't get <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even read chat. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, the double. P I love to see it. I love to see it. And now we psychic for most things. Beautiful. Beautiful. The problem is, I guess, with getting rid of Bug Buzz, I don't answer Slow King as well, but Energy Ball is still a great answer. I, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, Rabska balling. Uh, my Rabska no longer survives anything that he does, which means Psychic is always the play. Do I win the speed tie? Well, this isn't even a speed tie anymore. Why am I saying do I win the speed tie? I can just spam Sucker Punch and win. Yeah? Oh, so that's actually more annoying than anything I could have thought of. Um... That's a problem. That was a mistake. I might have lost, actually, thinking about it, hypothetically. I should have sucker punched again. It is dying from a uh, life orb, though. Which is the only thing that's giving me any hope. We go tank on, we heal a little with the generator. Hopefully, he goes sludge wave again. Get a ball, good read, and it's over. Damn, I kind of tossed. I, I ain't gonna, I'm not even gonna lie. That's an 0-3. I'm out of the bracket, and it's my fault. Ah, <sighs> it's being toxic now. Just to do it. Ah, uh, I should have revived Gengar. Uh, this, I'm just retarded. 